Corporal James Oakland had been a pupil at Hume Grammar School. He served with the military police since 2003 and was flown out to Afghanistan to replace an injured colleague. I think you've got to show respect for these lads out there, lads and girls actually. I mean, they're heroes, aren't they? And I had a grandson out in Basra and I know how you feel when the news comes on that somebody's been killed or injured. You just pray to God, thank God, your own come home safe and you feel for those families. I appreciate what the boys are doing abroad, the boys and girls, and I think they're doing a fine job and I think everybody should support them. The funeral cortege of Corporal James Oakland will be making its way from his family home, which is just a couple of streets away. It'll be making its way down this road and past his former primary school, and local residents and local school children are out in force to mark their respect. Now I've been talking to many of them who remember a man, a young man, who was brave, courageous and overall made them laugh at times. I've got this one memory of him um, when we were uh, on the Gold Duke of Edinburgh. Um, where someone was struggling to carry like, like their rucksack, uh, they sprained their ankle and without thinking he just came along, picked the rucksack up and just carried it for about three hours just across this, like, it was like an 80 pound rucksack he was just, um, but he just, he was always like laughing and joking and nothing seemed to faze him, he was just like nah, he was a really really fun person to know really Over 400 people have joined a page on Facebook dedicated to him I'm feeling quite sad really, just being, I'm feeling quite sad watching a man who's died in war fighting for us just go by. I feel sad because he's fought for our country and he didn't deserve it really, just a sad day. Travelling the four mile journey to Blakely Crematorium, his parents paid tribute to their son. They described him as a true friend and will be dearly missed. He was an independent son having the maturity to leave home at 19 and join the army full of hope, adventure and ambition. James, you always made us proud and we're thankful for all the happy memories you've given us. <laughs> He had a glittering career ahead of him, a um, career which unfortunately will never be realised um, and we all miss him terribly, as we do already. Um, our thoughts go out to obviously the family and also to his friends who are still remaining in Helmand. Um, life for them goes on um, and a day in day out business. Rebecca Pocchiello, Channel M Today.